This is the fifth and final step of a sequence of screencasts looking at the drawing techniques within Microsoft PowerPoint. So we've been setting out to try and create something that looks like this and we've got as far as that so we're very nearly there. All I want to do is show you in this, this final screencast is a few other things that we can do having got to this stage. So first of all just a quick reminder if I wanted to just change the layout slightly if I hold my finger on the shift key and I select those two items I'm then going to nudge them left using my cursor key you'll notice that the connectors, the red arrows move with it, I don't have to worry about rearranging them, they just move with it if I just want the diagram to stay as a diagram and I'm not going to do anything else with it later on a sensible thing at this stage would be to group the whole image so I'm going to describe my mouse around it so it will select all of the items, so that's all of the shapes and all of the arrows and then I'm going to which we can do by going to the format menu and then group and what that will do is it will turn it into a single item which I can then move around the screen much easier if I wanted to have this in the center of my slide I can then go up to the align the align to slide is ticked and I'm going to distribute it horizontally so it will put it in the center of my slide uh, nicely arranged if at any point I need to come back in and I need to edit uh, any of the items within that I can just go back and I can ungroup it and it will turn it back into individual items so I'm just going to have a go at just formatting very slightly I'm going to select the six shapes now I have to use my shift finger on the shift key to do this because if I selected by dragging the mouse it would also select the arrows which I don't want so I have to use the shift key to specify the individual shapes uh, and I'm going to quickly just change the outline so I'm going to make the outline red as well and I'm going to increase the weight of the outline a little bit so at the moment it's three, I'm just going to put it up to about four and a half just so you can see the effect and the arrows again if I want to alter them I can hold my finger on the shift key and click. Now I'd be very very clever with my mouse skills if I, if I move my mouse slightly it will de-select connect them and just move them slightly and I'm going to make them a little bit bigger as well and I'm going to change the colour of them to uh, black so I'm just sort of reinforcing some of the things that we've learnt in the previous screencasts so having created my basic shape looks a little bit like that uh, in a future series I'm going to show how we can convert that into an interactive PowerPoint presentation.